Let's feel his emotion. They're off. Spice Garden tries for the lead. Swiss Frankie on the rail. Second, Rossi Chef towards the outside. Third, Prosperous Loney inside. Fourth, CR Super Trooper goes off stride. Around the turn, Spice Garden is now off stride. Swiss Frankie in front by about seven lengths. Prosperous second. On the outside, Rossi Chef third. Smashing Jane Loney inside. Fourth, two lengths back to Gary's goal. Fifth. About four lengths back to Magnificent Lobel, six. Spice Garden, seventh. Fall back to CR Super Trooper, eighth. Quarter times, 29 and three. At the paddock turn the first time. Swiss Frankie in front by five lengths. Prosperous second. Two and a half lengths back to Smashing Jane, third. With Gary's goal alone inside, fourth. As they come by the stands the first time. Swiss Frankie in front by four and a half lengths. Prosperous second. Three lengths back to Smashing Jane, third. Gary's goal, fourth. Rozzy Chef, fifth. Gap of two lengths. Magnificent Lobel, sixth. Spice Garden, seventh. Half time is 101 flat. Around the clubhouse, turn to final time. Swiss Frankie maintaining a four and a half length advantage. Prosperous, second. Three lengths back to Smashing Jane, third. Gary's goal up on the outside, fourth. Three lengths back to Rozzy Chef, fifth. About four lengths back to Magnificent Lobel, six. Spice Garden, seventh. Down the back stretch. Swiss Frankie leads by three lengths. Prosper, second. Gary's goal. Moving on the outside, third. Smashing Jane on the rail, fourth. Rozzy Chef, fifth. Three quarters, one thirty-two and one. Around the far turn. Swiss Frankie in front by three points of a length. Gary's goal draws alongside second. A challenge. Prosperous on the rail, third. Smashing Jane the outside, fourth. They're at the head of the stretch. Swiss Frankie has the lead. Gary's goal down the center track. Second. On the inside, Prosperous third. Through the stretch, Swiss Frankie with the lead. Gary's goal alongside and Prosperous. Swiss Frankie and Gary's goal at Smashing Jane. Gary's goal in front. Goes unofficial. It's a very happy contingent meeting Gary's goal in the winner's circle. We'll step aside and come back. And then got Gary's goal home this evening, Richie Silver. Congratulations. Thank you very much, Frank. Let's talk about this filly. Obviously, she's had between breaking problems and soundness problems. She hasn't been to the races uh, all that much. Back off the qualifier, you get a horse like this uh, on a track like this, what is your main objective? What are you trying to get out of this race for her? Well, she has some future stakes uh, here and later on in the future on a half mile track. So we just wanted to see how she'd handle the turns. You never want to rush one too much out of there and let them get used to the turns a little bit. Things just worked out good. I got to sit in for a long time, tipped up the backside, and she just raced good. Recall bother you at all? No, she's a pretty good man at Philly, and I always thought she had a little talent. Okay, the way the race shaped up, you went first up. You engaged uh, one of the, the horses that's kind of an overnight uh, consistent check getter at this field. You get a horse, um, you're nursing her in the final turn. You're looking, you know you've got a horse on your inside, you know you got someone on your back, and you have to get this one, at least keep her trotting to the wire. Exactly right. I was. I knew I had the one on the front beat, and I just wanted to make sure she kept attention and stayed trotting. I didn't want to rush her too much in the last turn. But uh, she has a little class, and she proved it tonight. Now, take a look at the stretch. At this point, you are uncovered. You're going to dispose of the pace-setting Swiss Frankie. Uh, you said you thought you had her beat, but you not only you had one coming up the inside who was not making up a lot of ground, but there's one right on your back. Yeah, I was more worried about the one coming late on the outside. But uh, she raced good, and uh, Paulie's done a great job with her. Hudson Philly horse, you think? Uh, I'm not sure yet. She'll need a couple more and let us tell. Live her here for a while and see? I believe they're going to. Okay, Gary's goal breaks her maiden in this evening's fifth race. Congratulations to Richie Silverman. Race number six up next. We shall return on Yonkers Raceway Live.